A new revolution is taking place in the digital landscape and it will make you a millionaire. So pay very close attention to this video because I'll show you exactly how to take advantage of it. If you look back on history, the industrial revolution, the internet revolution, the crypto revolution have made a lot of people millionaires and AI is next. Watch this video until the end because at the end I will give you the exact AI business ideas you can use and start right now. Because if you don't take advantage of the revolution, you might be the one being replaced by the robot. And if you look back at history, this has been true, but there are two sides to each revolution. Two types of people that end up coming out of a revolution. The winners and the losers. In the 1800s, people were afraid that horses and carriages would be replaced by a car and carriage drivers would be left jobless. And that's exactly what happened. For them, life is depressing. And the same thing will be true for those whose jobs will be replaced by AI. But if you look at the other end of the spectrum, car salespeople, car manufacturers, mechanics, car customizers, there were people who out of nowhere started to basically bathe in money. Money started pouring on them because they were in the new industry in the right time. And the same is true for AI or any new revolution that starts to happen. This happens because money never disappears. It just starts to be poured in a new venture, in a new market. And if people who were first to ride the wave made the most money. And the same thing is going to happen with AI. Matter of fact, it's already happening right now. And these are the exact ideas and exact business models you can use to take advantage of AI right now. Now, there are three types of people who can take advantage of AI to make a lot of money. For the first two, I won't be able to give you specific business ideas, but for the third one, I will. So keep on watching. The first one and the hardest one is being the visionary. This is actually the most lucrative one. This is where people will start to become billionaires. This is where a lot of the nouveau riche Will be made out of essentially this is being the founder of an ai based startup and this is not using let's say ai to build and write a blog post but instead it's actually you building a specific ai it might be in the medical industry where you build a software that can allow and detect different tumors in human bodies you may be able to create a specific chatbot for customer support an ai that's specifically built around that these are businesses that i say are very difficult to create however if you're semi-successful or even very successful this is the highest chance for you to become a billionaire. However, to get there, you need to build a lot of skills. You need to already know a little bit about coding. You need to know a specific industry. It's not something where with no experience, with no skill, you can go in and start making a lot of money. It is a great opportunity though, but it's not for everybody. And listen, there are actually two much easier ways for you to start making money with AI. The second thing is being a developer. And actually, I need to call my friend who is a developer and he'll tell you exactly on how to start working with AI. Hey, hey, good to see you, Rainus. Hey, what's up, man? How you been? Carlos is a trader and data scientist, and he knows more about AI than anyone you've ever spoken with. And what he told me blew my mind. So yeah. do you think AI will replace all human jobs? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that de definitely like a lot of the positions could be replaced, especially like the lower tier where you require like less skill. There are going to be a lot of new jobs out there. Nowadays, there's a lot of like roles for like data scientists or like uh, data analysts that didn't exist like 20, 30 years ago. In simplified terms, what even is AI? So AI in really simple terms is just the fancy word for statistics. It is basically taking some data and uh, using statistical methods and applying them to the given data and uh, producing like an output or a prediction. AI is actually not smart. It's not what you think. Listen to this. How do you how do you get started learning code if you want to build AI? I would say the code part of the AI is relatively easy. The difficult part is the math behind it. For example, like linear algebra and like matrix algebra. When it comes to AI, like it really matters if you understand what's going on behind the hood, how the algorithms work really helps. Why, why do you need math? Is basically an AI just a formula? It is, exactly. But uh, you need to understand like how it works. You basically need to be like an Albert Einstein that can put together a new <laughs> formula every time and make it correct. Imagine if I want to buy a house, how can I use the AI to help me buy the house for the best price? You can build a data scraper, feed your AI the right data and train it to only find and give you properties which are very likely to be under market value. So if you're a real estate investor, if you're a trader, this tool is infinitely valuable because it all of a sudden helps you shrink from like hundreds and thousands of listings, maybe a hundred or 500 or a thousand, and you have better data set to work with. And building tools like this is gonna make so many young people rich and successful. The downside here is coding is very difficult. And if you don't want to code or if you don't want to do the grunt work, there's 
there's actually a third opportunity, which I think is the best one for most people watching this video. And that's being the implementor. Think of that as being a consultant or an agency for different businesses. When people transition from horses to cars, they needed to learn how to drive cars. They needed to learn how to use cars in different work scenarios, how to use cars for their business. That's exactly what you'll be doing with AI. But this is peanuts compared to the nine AI business ideas I have. And I rank them from the one that's gonna make the least amount of money to the ones that are literally going to build billionaires. Let's start with the ideas that can help you make 150 to 450k a year. And number one is being a coding project manager. Now to do this, you don't necessarily need to have the skills of a coder. Your goal is to move projects further. If you work with a visionary company that's creating and crafting AI for a very specific industry, your goal will be to work with the coders, maybe work on the creating different sprints, crunches and improving the productivity of these people. I know this because in our companies, we also have project managers and these people are very valuable and in the tech space, they can make a lot of money. A lot of them make 150, 250K a year, to my knowledge. Coding project manager, let's rate it like on a scale from one to 10, I would say like a solid eight. The second thing is an AI writer. Now, yes, chat GPT and these AI tools write the content for you. However, humans are still responsible for the ideas and the structure of this. If you look at Marcus Brownlee's latest video, you see that he talked about how the video was written by AI. Not everything, but the first part of it. Now, frankly, I tried to do the same with this video. It didn't work out well. However, the result and the content the AI gave me, I was able to use and morph my own ideas around it. Because at the end of the day, humans are responsible for the core idea that the AI uses. AI doesn't, you know, have creativity in its brain. It literally has a lot of data. And what you tell the AI to do, it will do. This is what you can see with the program DALI. You need to be creative enough to create a scenario that the AI can create it and give you a picture out of it. If you don't have the creativity and the imagination in your head, the AI cannot give you any results. Now, as a writer, AI will help you find answers, different questions. It's quite really like a search tool as well. A lot of people are talking about AI replacing Google as a search engine. That's how you know this is a massive revolution. If you can find the answers to very specific questions and then elaborate upon them further, you can become a really good writer and even start a writing agency, an SEO agency, which can be scaled because it's not just reliant upon you and your skill. It's also reliant upon AI, which is a lot more scalable. Yeah. I I think this is a really good idea. I don't know if you've tried like this new chat GP3. Yes. It's super fun. It can like write stories for you. And so I, I would rate this at a 10. Now, if you have the skill on using writing for AI, you can turn this into very specific programs and courses like how to use AI for YouTube, how to use AI for writing ads, how to use AI for writing landing pages. And through this, you can gain a following and start selling courses in different programs and consulting packages, which can easily, you know, make you 150K, 450K a year. This next idea has already made millionaires, but I'm gonna give it a twist that's gonna make even more people millionaires. It was actually used by a YouTuber called Chris Conradi, and it's selling personalized artwork, different people. Now I know a company called Lulu Cartoon, and what they would do is you can send them a picture of you or your friends, and they will turn that picture into a yellow character picture, which is like kind of more like the Simpsons. Uh, you can take Rick and Morty themed pictures and get them out as images as canvases for you to use. If you're able to develop an AI who can take these specific images and create these results automatically, you can have a very profitable business. There is AI which creates images or if you send it your selfies, it will create different illustrations of you. But the way this AI works is it's being fed different images on the back end. So it can steal the strokes, it can steal the structure and steal the characteristic of it. It's not actually figuring out to create a way to draw you. It's just taking the data, figuring out what is your face and what is not your face, putting that against the reference images and trying to give you different results. If you're able to code an AI, that can create people that look, you know, like they're in The Simpsons, like they're in Rick and Morty. You can take this and kind of sell the core idea around it as an e-commerce project. Now, the way these companies typically get run is they have illustrators and animators on the back end who manually draw out these pictures. If you're able to replace this with AI, you instantly get almost 100% <laughs> margins. And what you really need to do is just spend money on advertising campaigns to get people to buy the products. And the way you can structure this business is the product you sell initially is just a picture and it could be 50 bucks, 70 bucks, you know, something like that. And then on the back end, you have a one click upsell that tries to upsell them on getting the picture on a canvas. And you can use services like Printful and Printfy to ship these products 
to them. And this could get your average order value from 70 bucks to maybe $120. And this could be very, very profitable because you have very low overhead, it's instant delivery, and people are gonna be very happy. So this would be really difficult to implement from scratch, but if you could use like DALI, for example, then maybe you could train the model, but you would right. still need to get a lot of data for someone to actually be willing to buy the output of your model. So I would rate this at like maybe a four or five. Now you have to pay very close attention because we're getting into the bread and butter and these four ideas are probably my favorite ones and they're gonna literally make billionaires. The first one is globalization for AI. Think of Grammarly. You've probably seen the tool, it has a lot of ads online where it collects your grammar mistakes. However, it's only built for English. You can globalize it and take the same tool into different languages. You can use Grammarly and build Grammarly for French, for Hebrew, for German, for these different languages, and you can build tools that kind of like piggyback of the main tool success in different markets. I think it's definitely doable. I'm not sure why we haven't like seen that many other uh, alternatives to Grammarly for other languages already. And a lot of times globalization works. You have the company called Bolt and I think they're worth 9.4 billion and it's basically a copy of Uber. You have David Fogarty who saw different products work in the US and he started selling them in Australia and now he's worth actually by the latest article 107 billion not billion, million dollars, which just shows you how you can take ideas that already are proven and work and just take them into different markets. This is also globalizing and specializing different AI tools for different markets. You have ChatGPT and then you have Jarvis AI, which is specifically built for marketers, for writing ad scripts, for landing pages, and for example, email marketing. And now you can use that tool to sell it. It's not something general, something broad, it's something specific. You could take and maybe sell a specific tool for students, tools to write them essays, yada, yada, yada. And really you can take tools like Dolly that helps create artistic images through different prompts and specialize it maybe for advertisers. And all of a sudden this tool becomes something very different. It becomes monetizable and something that you know, can be scaled. Up next we have a simplified idea of something that already has built billion dollar companies like Shopify, like Squarespace, and it's creating an AI that would create websites based on your prompts. So instead of, you know, back in the day, you needed to code the website, then you have tools like Shopify and Squarespace, which allows you to drag and drop things. Imagine Imagine if you could just build a website by giving it a prompt, explaining what you want on a site, maybe giving examples of similar sites. And in just a matter of seconds, it would create the website or landing page for you. Then to adjust the site, you can simply use drag and drop tools and do maybe, you know, the small 10% tweaks, but the 80% of the work is already done. Now it is already easy and quick to create these landing pages, but if you're in business or an agency that does this, this would make life even easier. Like even if you're a small business or a mom and pop shop, they're not the best people with tech typically. So even creating this simplified version of this tool can improve sales by a ton. And, and I believe this tool can easily outgrow or even be acquired by tools like Squarespace, Shopify, so it can be a fat exit. Then up next, we have a tool to counteract one of the tools I told you previously. I gave you an idea to create an AI that can write essays, but you can create an AI that can detect AI written essays or plagiarism. Now, the first thing you saw when ChatGPT came out with their newest version, people in schools and, and colleges were talking about how it could be used for them to write essays easier and quicker. If you can counteract that and figure out a way to detect whether something is or is not written by an AI, this could be sold to colleges and to schools to basically check the papers. Or it could be a tool that immediately checks for plagiarism. It could be a two-in-one. If you're able to develop a tool like this, these colleges, these schools, they have a lot of money and their, their budgets are pretty fat. You can make deals directly with the government and you'll be paid to sell this tool to them. And this tool doesn't even need to be that great. If you look at a lot of these softwares colleges and schools are using, they kind of crap. <laughs> when you get a government contract, it's very difficult to get them. But once you do, they stick with you for a long time. They're not going to go away. And again, if you think of this idea and look at it from different angles, from different use cases, you could build a similar tool to detect AI art or AI graphics. You can do the same to detect AI copyright infringement for videos or whatever it might be. It could learn, it could scour the data for copyrighted material and match it with the database. And it's as simple as that. And now we come to the last idea. And this is actually something my friend does. It's AI trading. This sounds very fancy, but at the end of the day, you, if you can build tools that help people detect patterns, for example, for traders, if you have a course maybe for newer traders that help detect patterns automatically for them, that's amazing. At the larger scale, at you know, the scale that hedge funds operate at, there definitely are trading tools that can help them detect patterns. It could be possibly an AI that can read 10Ks, 10Qs, analyze the value of the company, the things that people have said, and based on that, 
give people summaries, give people raw data so they can have more data points to make decisions. Take that into account in the market and give price predictions for value investors, for traders, for growth investors to see which points are great for them to enter at and possible expectations on where the graph would go. Because an AI could do the same thing as human does. It just needs to be given directions. They need to read the 10Q, 10K. They need to look at the stock price, the valuation of the company, compare the valuation against other companies and their competitors, look at the news around the company, see what this company has that other competitors don't, and maybe even watch videos and you can get captions on, for example, YouTube videos like these and just read the metadata, read the captions that people talk about and get a general sentiment on what the investors feel about the company, what the news articles are saying, what the company itself is saying, how the finances are adding up, kind of consolidate this information for a trader to look at or an investor to look at. Now, the investor will probably still want to do their own due diligence, but a lot of the heavy lifting can be done by AI. And if you start to work with hedge funds, uh, hands down, you're going to make a lot of money because if this thing works remotely and if it does remotely what it needs to do it is extremely powerful now granted it is difficult to create and that's why this idea is at the end of the list however my friend we interviewed earlier he is working and he is using ai while trading as well and, and as a computer scientist that's practically his job and if you can do it well you can start to make a lot of money if you watch this video so far you're obviously interested in increasing your income and making more money and it's true ai is the next big thing however no matter how smart or how big the opportunity is, if you don't have the right habits to take advantage of it, you will never win. That's why I want you to tap this video here and watch it next to learn the four millionaire habits you need to implement within your day-to-day -day life.